Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Quick Scopes. Today we have the Jackamus, Jackmus, J Force One, and that is in black, metallic silver, black. Let me take this opportunity to ask you to free the box. Very, very nice box. As you can see, the Jackamus there, and we've got little swishes as well. Free the paper. Let me take this opportunity to ask you to like, leave your thoughts, subscribe, ring that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Ah uh, yeah, purchase links for these and the white pair in the description. Stay tuned for the on foot. So yeah, let's start from the soles up. So we have a black outsole with that Jacquemus in off noir, I believe. We have a very interesting midsole. As you can see, we have black um, lacing for the weave and we got, it does look black, sort of off noir um, for the midsole itself, like the two little rubber bits and it's just all bonded together, nice and woven. And then we come to this upper. So this upper is composed of smooth grain black leather. It does feel similar to your GRs, but it does feel a little bit better. And if we start from around the toe, you'll see that we have that black smooth grain leather around the toe and on the toe box. This material also graces the eye stay, as you can see. And at the base of the eye stay, we have an interesting metal dubre, which features JF1. This dubre is in a pair of black laces to the thickness that I like. And these black laces conceal a black nylon tongue. And at the top of this tongue, you'll see that we have a black tab with the J Force One and Nike swoosh in off noir. If we take a look at the mid portion of the shoe, you'll see that the mid panel is again in that black smooth grain leather. And we have a swoosh, a very interesting swoosh. So this swoosh is a small metal swoosh. As you can see, you usually see this kind of swoosh on the base of the eye stay, but here it is on the mid panel. Very, very different. Going to the fox in, you'll see that the fox in is the same as the rest of the shoe in black smooth grain leather, as is the heel. And the heel has some deboss detailing for the swoosh and the jacquemus. If we take a look inside the shoe, you'll see that the sock liner is also in black, as is the insole featuring that jacquemus again in off-white on a black insole. Let me know what you think of this pair. For me, interesting very interesting obviously we have to start with that woven midsole again it is just very different you don't see this on an air force one but this isn't an air force one it's a j force one and it it, it works i guess but it's just so different um, my queries is the durability of this how long will this last will it be just a one summer thing or something like that repair you know look at it it's literally a lace that interlocks the upper to the base of the shoe. What happens if that, if that gets severed, damaged or anything like that? You know, how do you clean it? Well, this is the black pair. Um, so cleaning wouldn't be too bad compared to the white pair, which I've already done a review of. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Are you concerned about that aspect? Remember as well that there is no glue between um, any of this which is a real a real spectacle right there in itself there's no glue underneath the insole as well the upper paneling is more regular as you can see it does resemble more of an air force one but it's not quite um, the same it does look a bit more forward a bit more motion to it um, than your standard air force one but it is what it is some of my favorite elements include the JF1, um, that Dubre is a really nice Dubre and the fact that they put a JF1 on it is really cool in my opinion. It's nice to see what you usually see but just in a slightly different way. I love things like that. One other detail I love is the outsole, the way that the Jacquemus and the swoosh is in reverse. So leaving an imprint somewhere, your footsteps, it will be in the correct orientation. I find that really, really cool. A really nice touch. The liner of this shoe is quite thin. Um, there's no extra cushioning or padding or anything like that. And this directly correlates to the comfort and the weight, which allows it, you know, to be more of a 
almost like a slipper kind of shoe. It does feel very, very lightweight. It does feel comfortable. There's no compromise there, but it does, you know, it doesn't feel like a normal Air Force One, but it does fit like an Air Force One. So go to your normal Air Force One size. As you can see, we have a pair of black laces in this one, which is perfect, of course, but I don't think you can do a lace swap here. As you can see, we have leather aglets, which are much wider than the holes of the shoe. So how do you get the laces out? I don't know if you have to destroy them or something like that. If you want to do a lace swap, I really advise against that. These laces are really nice, normal, good quality thickness. And this aglet matching the aglet on the midsole for the um, stitching. But yeah, it's just, why did they do that? Why why can't you change the lace? I, I don't understand. You know, you might not want to, you might want a different lace or something that suits your outfit better. I don't know, I, I really don't like that aspect of this shoe. You know, the Air Force One is supposed to be, you know, the ultimate clean canvas and all of that, but I guess they've done a lot here, but I would have liked to be able to change the laces without destroying them. With all that being said, an interesting pair, clearly, um, you don't really see things like this and that's why I give these a 5.5 out of 10. I'm not entirely mad at it because I like different things to do with the Air Force One. I like changes to the Air Force One and, you know, experiments to it. But this, I don't see myself wearing this kind of shoe. How do these compare to the white pair? I've done a review of them. Remember, purchase links for both in the description. Which one do you prefer? And also, would you have liked a different kind of color for the stitching for the midsole, uh, maybe a rainbow stitch or yellow or something, or how would you like to see this kind of silhouette go on? Or do you think just the two pairs, the white and the black, that's it? Anyway, I've been Scopes. Thank you so much for subscribing, sharing your thoughts. It is always, always appreciated. Stay tuned for the On Foot. Signing out. See ya. Oh,